I know y'all in there. I think somebody's at the door. Yeah, I think it's for daddy. <laughs> Weezer, you look like hammer doo-doo. Don't talk to me like that. OK, OK, I'm sorry. You, you look like regular doo-doo. I have a bone to pick with you. Pick it. My vet says that all this noise you've been making off in here the last few days has given Thurman a nervous condition and made his hair fall out. I had to put him on sedatives. Your vet is a moron. I'm not even sure he has opposable thumbs. So if you will excuse me, I have yard work to do. John, get back here. Hey, Miss Weezer. Leave me alone. Hey, I'm talking to you. Get back here. <laughs> I'd be damn drum. I don't know whether I'm going or coming. Oh, yeah, I heard you got so screwed up, you cut your dog out of your will and had an ungrateful nephew put to sleep. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm at the end of my rope here. Then tie a noose in it and slip it over your head. Whoa! <laughs> Weezer, I don't want to have to kill you. <laughs> Boy, bring me my gun. Do not threaten me, Buster. I will call the police. I have a zillion trillion blackbirds to scare away before Shelby's reception. If I don't, I got my wife to deal with, and I make it a point never to deal with my wife. My dog, my baby dog is on his last legs. What am I supposed to do with the poor thing? Make him a weave. Serve him up on toast. It's all the same to me. You coming to Shelby's reception looking like that? <laughs> You go straight to hell. Oh, maybe you should scare off the birds and save me the trouble. <laughs> Thomas Drummond Edenton, uh, did you get these magnolias off my tree? The judge hadn't decided who exactly owns that tree. I don't need a judge to tell me what's mine. <laughs> Shut up, chucklehead. <laughs>